beautiful day. Oh, it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I'll tell Welcome, you. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll be Mad Dog. This is Mr. Merrill. Fast Freddy on the keyboards. Yes. We are up in God's country. We are up at Red Cliff, yes. Wisconsin. And we've got so much excitement happening today. So many great recipes. We're going to send it back in just a moment. We'll see you folks in one minute. One minute. Two minutes. Two minutes. Freddy, take it away. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills, Cherry Delight, Native American Tourism of Wisconsin, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, No Name Butcher Quality Meats, Sun Drop Soda, The Oneida Nation, Glorious Malone Fine Sausage, Henning's Award Winning Cheese, Golden Home Ultra Thin Pizza Crusts, and by Lashbro Aerial Images. Oh yes, pretty boy, you got that right. Welcome to the Dock of the Bay. You got it, you got it. I'll tell you what, we're gonna have a great time here today. We are up in Red Cliff. Cliff. Uh, remember, folks, we were here last year with Chief Buffalo, and we were at Madeline Island. It was a great time. We did some nice stews and some uh, Lake Superior chowder, if I'm right. not mistaken. Yeah, well, Today, great. we're going to do some lovely plank cooking of uh, lake trout. Yep. Chase, Absolutely. lake trout. fresh lake and trout. Lake whitefish. Lake, lake whitefish. I'm going to that. All right. And we are actually uh, pleased to have uh, Chase with us from a brand new company that is just opening up here in Red Cliff, and it's the Red Cliff Fish Company. Yep. And, 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 and congratulations, first of all. Absolutely, thank you. That is great. Yeah, it's, it's in the process, and we're, we're almost completed on the, on the building up there. And it, make, it makes it just one more destination to come to Red Cliff, because they can come here and they can pick up uh, fresh fish daily, yep. seven days a week, hopefully year-round. Yep. And, and, and you're going to have a smokehouse? Yep, we're going to have a smokehouse. Oh, we'll have good. smoked yeah. uh, lake trout and whitefish as well. So. Yeah, we're looking for that. And what's your favorite way to, to, to do the fish on the grill? Uh, on the grill, I just like butter and a little bit of onion and some mushrooms, and, and that, let, that's just how and, I do and it. And let yeah. it go, and let it go. Well, we're, yep. we're halfway home with you we're right here. Let that's me tell it. you that. Yeah. We're halfway we're home with you. Halfway yeah. there, exactly. Halfway. Hey, first of all, we got to thank our good friends at, at Natal. Uh, uh, and you go to natal.org and you can learn more about uh, our good friends in the 11 great tribes of Wisconsin, uh, if you would do that. And one of the great tribes is our good friends at Red Cliff. And they got a brand new great website and you can search out Red Cliff if you would please and look up all the great things from right over here is Frog Bay Tribal National Park. Uh, the, 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 the point that sticks out past that sailboat past us there. The Red Cliffs are just behind it. The ice caves are right there. Madeline Island is over here. Bass Island is over here. Legendary Waters Resort and Casino uh, is right there. I spent a little time there today. Had a lovely time by the way. It was yeah. fun. Uh, pulled a couple slot machines, had some wonderful time, everything in moderation, and you're doing just fine. Uh, we're also going to be doing some great Copper Crow Distillery next segment. Yes, I can't and, wait. <laughs> and, and, and also some rustic Mukwa Den kayaking. Yes. And it's going to be a like good time. It. I like it. Well, let's get cold. Hey, let's go, you know, I'll tell you what, a lot of things, and I, I've just started doing this, this poaching fish. You know, and I, used to, I used to never poach fish. Never did. Never really, really, really did. But it's easier to do. What you're going to do is I'm going to melt some butter here. I've got some chopped up tomatoes in there. I got some garlic. It's sort of get, you know, we always joke about cleaning out the sink. But what I'm going to do is we're going to simmer this. I've got some cream. I'm going to get that going on the bottom there. Go cream, go, go, go. There, there we go. Yeah, she's still it's a common. stubborn cow. <laughs> <laughs> Got a stubborn cow there. All right, I'll pour some more in there. So I'm going to use some lime. I want to leave some of it pretty whole in there because I want to squeeze it out afterwards. Absolutely. So, you know, you want the moisture in there. Now, so different things that you could do. You know, we always like that. I always like a little bit of hot sauce on that. Hey, do you want to cut those uh, fillets maybe Push in half way. there? Because we'll sprinkle that in there. They cut like oh. butter. They cut like, just like butter, ladies like and gentlemen. They cut just like butter, ladies and gentlemen. Now, whitefish is a great fish to work with. It really is. It has enough oils in there, so it's forgiving, so that you can overcook it, undercook it. It doesn't make a difference. It's a perfect fish for grilling you and cooking it. and everything else. Right. Now, we've got some olives. And you wonder why olives, right? Well, it's something, you know, when you're simmering, you can have different types of flavors. And the big thing is definitely the herbs that I'm going to be putting on here. And then we're going to top it with which will add a little bit of flavor on here. We got a little bit of uh, basil and oregano on here. Got one with a rubber band on there. Oh, chase. 
<laughs> Watch out, they're powerful, man. Copper crow jig. It has a little bit of flavor. No way. No way. <laughs> yes, there is. way. It's made out of way. It's unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Next, se next only... segment will be with uh, Kurt and Linda, and we'll talk a little bit about the Copper Crow Distillery. It's a great place. a whole bunch. Brand new place in Red Cliff. You know, I'm going to probably do, I'm going to say maybe an eighth of a cup or something there. I don't want to overpower it on there, whatever the flavor. I'm going to set these on the grill, simmer them. You want to really get a nice, nice low heat on there. So you're going to simmer them for a good eh, 15, 20 minutes. Well, that's minutes. probably why you put the olives in there, because you had gin. <laughs> you goofy oh, son of a gun. Maybe I'll just drink this, the heck with that. <laughs> Right we might, we might have a new drink there, Freddie. <laughs> righty, got her there. What do you got there, Mad Doggy? Uh, have you ever done any cedar planking? I have not done cedar planking. Cedar planking is a great, the foolproof way with this beautiful lake trout here. And I'm going to say it once again, what a great facility that's being built up there. The smokehouse is there. You're going to have fresh fish. You're going to yeah. have other great items up there, I'm sure. Yep, yep. Yeah, and in season, perch and walleye. We'll get some walleye in there, yep. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Some herring occasionally during the herring season as it's well. It's pretty good lately. Merrill got a hearing aid. <laughs> yeah, I forgot it today. <laughs> That'll happen. <laughs> so today I'm using a, a, some nice cedar shake. Okay. And it's a great way to do it. It's untreated cedar. It's been soaked in water overnight. And I didn't know what size the fish would be, so sure. we're, we're going to go middle of the road here and get ourselves a couple nice planks in there. And all we're simply going to do, Chase, is with these and any folks at home, get some cedar shake, and all you do is wet them down, and here's a couple ways to do it. One, we're, I had them skin. I had your friend Jason. Justin. Justin. Justin darn Matt. it all. Yeah. Big Justin. <laughs> yeah. uh, he, fully, he actually skinned the fish also, which is very nice, because when you're working with plank cooking, that's what you want to do. So we're going to throw those lemon slices on top of there. We're going to place that fish right on top of there. Now I have some wettened herbs with lime and some great copper crow gin. And we're going to actually place all those fresh herbs, and that's a parsley, that's a oregano, and that's a little bit of thyme. And I'm actually going to take and place that skin side down right on top of that filet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to glisten with a little bit of oil, and we're going to place these on the grill, a nice medium direct heat, and we're gonna cook those babies with a little bit of lemon over the top of that one, a little bit of lemon over the top of that one. Because we have lemon there, we're gonna add a little bit of our citrus twist. What's the website people can go on, by the way? Redcliffefish.com. If you're checking out the, the new fish facility, that's absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. wonderful. And yep. then with the other one, what's that, Chase? We were gonna say we also have our Facebook and our um, Instagram accounts, and those are the Redcliff Fish Company. You can check those out. It's a great place. Well, it smells good. I know. Smell that Would you gym? do me the honors of looking that up there? Thank you, sir. So we're going to place those directly on the grates of the grill, and we're going to let those cook for about 35 minutes or so and okay. get those nice and done. And when we come back, not only are we doing a beautiful vodka drink from the Copper Pro Distillery yeah. and talking to Kurt and Linda, but I've got a great salad to do We're using the Three Sisters and some cooked up fish. So we'll be right back, folks. All right. Good. Yes. Yes. So, right. Freddie, 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 did, were you ever a fisherman? Do I live on a lake? What do you think? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks, don't forget to go to, to, to Red Cliffs. Uh, search Red Cliff. What a great destination. Uh, all the great things, the scenery up here, upper Wisconsin, as far as you can go. And it's a place of destination like you wouldn't believe. Just one of our good friends from natal.org. Thank you very much. You know something, I'm gonna make a great wild rice salad. Uh, locally harvest wild rice, some beautiful sweet corn, some green beans, zucchini, yellow squash, all from the gardens here at Red Cliff. I'm gonna throw some mayo in there, some maple syrup, a little bit of the copper crow vodka <laughs> with the mixture. But Merrill had a chance to talk yes. with Kurt and Linda from the Copper Crow Distillery. And you gotta take a look at this. Take a look at this. Oh, we'll be right good back time. right after good this. Time. Hey, Kurt, Linda, uh, tell us a little bit about your products. Okay, so we're Copper Crow Distillery. We're up here in Red Cliff, Wisconsin. Right now we've got three products for retail. We've got a, a vodka made from wheat. Okay. Uh, and a vodka and a gin made from whey. And whey is a byproduct of making cheese. Uh, being the dairy state, it's a natural fit. Good point. We're, we're one of less than a dozen known distillers in the world who are using whey to make, uh, to make spirits. That is great. That is really great. Now, you won an award from the gin, did you? We did. We entered the gin into a national uh, uh, spirits competition through the American Distilling Institute, and we won a bronze. 
That's very good. Good for you. Now, when people come here, can they go ahead and sample, or will they be able to sample in the future? Yes. Yeah. We uh, typically, if it's not COVID season, we do uh, we do tours uh, and and tastings. We serve uh, incredible cocktails, uh, but uh, things are a little bit slow right now. Right. I would imagine. Yeah. I'm just curious. What are some of the cocktails that you that you serve? Well, the the cocktails that we make are very um, very unique. Um, we try to our menu changes as the seasons change. Okay. Um, right now, there's so much available to us in as far as you know the herbs, the fruits, and then things. So we make sure that whatever we're making, our specials especially, um, kind of bring in some of those flavors, some of those products. Okay. If you have any other uh, uh, drinks that you plan on, not drinks, but uh, different types of uh, liquor that you're planning on doing later on? Right. So currently we've got a number of different uh, whiskeys and barrels, from bourbon to wheat whiskey, okay. uh, rye whiskey, single malts. We've got an apple brandy that we're hopefully going to release this fall, uh, and a rum. Boy, I'll tell you what, I can't wait. Can I just stay here? You can stay. <laughs> I might put you to work. Oh, okay. I might be able to do that. I think I saw Freddy. I think he's inside. Let's go check it out. All right. Sounds good. Well, I'll tell you what, then. Wasn't that a great video? And, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to mix this salad up. And Meryl got a couple of things from the Copper Crow Distillery. Uh, he's a lucky man. It. Yes, yes. A little Red Cliff Summer Hummer. I mean, this wow. is really nice and refreshing. I think Freddie will definitely yeah. like it. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. But first of all, we're going to start with some mint, fresh mint in there. And I've got some oranges. And I've got two oranges. I want the juice of the orange. And I'm going to let this really. Oh, I'm was gonna... that a special request to have orange from? Was it? But there you go. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go ahead and let this sit for a while, too. You know, I want all the flavors to blend in. The mint will really come out really nice. I'm going to go ahead and mull it around, too, once I got that in there. I'm kind of mowing the shore oh, off. Are you? <laughs> Let me squish this around here so we got the flavor. Ooh. This is really good. And this, you can go ahead. We're going to top ours probably at the end. We're going to serve with drinks probably with some Mountain Dew. You could use tonic if you want to. You could use what's lemonade. That, what's that rum drink with brown sugar and lime and your mullet? M m m mimosa? Mahosh? M O J. Mojitos. mojitos. So, so it's kind of like a, a, a Red Cliff mojito. Well, yeah. Well, they're going to be making some rum pretty soon, <laughs> so too. So you can make your own mojitos with the, with, the, with the Copper Crow Distillery. Boy, look at that. We've got how many? Just you and I, Freddie? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to serve this up. I'm going to put some honey in there and let this sit for a while. It really makes a big difference. It'll add some really nice flavor. The mint will really come out, too. Oh. oh. Too much honey? Well, maybe. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, there's always enough honey. All right. You can always add more vodka. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, sir. We'll let that sit for a while. Well, we've got the uh, the beautiful salad from the garden, nice and fresh with the wild rice. The the, the white fish and the and the, and the uh, lake trout are looking just phenomenal. They really, really are. Merrill's fish is looking great. The plank fish is looking good. We're gonna let that mull a little bit. He's gonna squish it down some more. And I'm gonna make sure that you go to natal.org and learn about all great 11 tribes of Wisconsin. But today we are at our good friends at Red Cliff, and it's a great destination to come all year round. Lots of things to do. The ice caves are right around the corner, ladies and gentlemen. Frog Bay Tribal National Park is right around that corner over there. Legendary Waters Resort and Casino right there. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill, the Midwest Grilling. We're speaking with Troy today. Troy, what is the, what is the name of your company? Uh, it's the Rustic Mokodan. It means Rustic Bear Den. And you, you've got, uh, what, what, what type, you got yachts? Uh, we got kayaks. We got one person, two person, three person kayaks, all for rent or for a tour. Gotcha. And what's the tour consist of? Uh, we have three tours, uh, one tour. It's right off the shores of Red Cliff here. Okay. And uh, we do about a two hour paddle down the shoreline here, seeing shipwrecks, caves, and one of the only arches in all of the Apostle Islands located right here on the shores of Red Cliff. That yeah. is beautiful. And how big, how big are the tours? Uh, this particular tour is about two to two and a half hours and consists of two to two and a half miles of paddling. And they could go pretty much as far as they want to? Uh, what we do is we go to a certain point and uh, then we turn around and it's pretty much set the distance, you know, and, and uh, everybody can get to uh, get some really good pictures along the way. 
All right. And do you have kids also going kayaking? Uh, there's pretty much no age limit on this tour. You just have to be able to uh, control the people that are with you. Well, I see. I understand. Well, that leaves us out. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is there a website that people could uh, log into? Uh, there is. You can go to the rusticmukwuden.com, and from there you can book any camping or kayaking trips from there that you'd uh, like to do. All right. Hey, thanks so much. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, Lori and I... Oh, we get to play the piano. You know, Lori and I are going kayaking all this coming week, and, and it's a great sport. It's a relaxing sport, and it's a hot item right now. So, so book ahead for next year. I have this odd feeling, yet alone this year coming up. A little time. Oh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. All right, though, the beautiful lake trout that was planked turned out just absolutely lovely. I turned that one meat side down on top of the fresh herbs, and when we flip that baby over, with any luck at all, oh, sorry, I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna have Ooh. a gorgeous piece of fish that's been infused uh, with the wonderful flavor of those fresh herbs over the top of that. So that's that fresh white uh, lake trout. And that turned out great on the grill. Here's the one with the lemon and the zest of lemons over the top of that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a little finishing sauce right now. And finishing right. sauces are a hot item. You can also do this during the process itself. There's a lot of great apple orchards up here in Red Cliff, and take advantage of them when you're up here in the late season of summer, and you'll be happy you did. I'm going to add a little bit of vodka in there from our good friends at Copper Crow, just a splash of vodka. Freddie, would Looking you like good. to taste that? <laughs> <laughs> out of the bottle? I don't Freddie, know. Like, he was born drinking out of the bottle. <laughs> a little bit of maple syrup, and I'm going to put a uh, sprig of rosemary in there, and that sprig of rosemary is simply going to infuse the flavors and we're going to give that a couple of good shakings and refrigerate after the uses, if you would, please. It's smooth. Yeah, I bet it is, isn't it's it? Very smooth. Yeah, Meryl wants to try, Freddie. <laughs> Don't need to go. So all we're going to do is give that a nice little misting over the top. That. Uh, there you go. Yep. Yeah. Yes. When it gets to be my age, that's a good <laughs> misting right there. <laughs> so One that's more. a nice little finishing sauce right there. The salads turned out lovely, but the, but the piste de resistance—that's what they say here in Red Cliff. I like that is the um, Miro's poached fish. Oh, it turned out just absolutely delicious. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm telling you, man, that baby right there is phenomenal. And it's just infused with all those great flavors inside of there. That fish is as tender as it can be. Now that's the local white fish that was caught this morning. And there's a nice piece of white fish underneath there, ready to be devoured with those mushrooms. It's great. <laughs> but it's time to make your drinks, Mr. Hey, Merrill. it's time to make the drinks there, ladies and gentlemen. We got some fresh mint in there. We got a load with ice the drinks in there and then we're going to top it off with some sun drop soda. Good for you, man. That looks refreshing, don't it? It is. I can't wait. That is the, uh, <laughs> uh, the Superior Red Cliff Summer Hummer. Yes, it is. Is that right? That's what we'll do. Put the oh, Superior. Oh, oh, hey, hey, watch what you're whoa, doing there, bud. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Boy, if Freddie would get mad at me. Well, no, he wouldn't. There's alcohol in it. There's one more there, <laughs> right. young man. All right. We're going to pour these off. And then we got a few more things to talk about in a, in a second or two. Freddie, want to give that one a little shot? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Never refuses. No. Why would you? No. No, I'm not going to. I think we got some nice friends behind us here. They're going to take a drink or two, uh, but we're not going to show them on the air drinking because they may not want to do it today, and they're not supposed to. I don't know. Hmm. I gotta tell you, this is pretty darn smooth. <laughs> I bet it is. Isn't it, it is. It's really good. Yeah. You know yeah. what the key was? The honey. <laughs> Can I tell you one thing? Our little tour with Natal this year, and what it's all about here at Red Cliff, is sustainability. It's living off the land. It's the beautiful fresh fish caught right here. It's the gorgeous vegetables. It's the distillery. It's the kayaking. It's living right here, planting your feet on the ground. You gotta visit Red Cliff. You gotta go to natal.org to learn more, if you would, please. We're gonna be right back to wrap this baby up a little bit, serve up some great fish. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin'. I got it now. It's drinking on the dock on the what is it? On the drinking on the dock of the bay. Drinking on the dock of the bay is it what is. we're doing here today. By the way, this is Buffalo Bay right behind us here. 
Buffalo Bay Chief Buffalo. We interviewed him, Robert, last year. That was a great time at Madeline Island. This year, we're just right here on the dock of the bay having a great time. Don't forget to go to uh, uh, coppercrowdistillery.com, redcliffefish.com, and of course, our good friends at the rustic muckwaden.com and of course natal.org that's a lot of website but you get the idea folks just watch the show a couple of times <laughs> kurt linda thank you so much thank you troy yep was that right yep that's right good then we can say goodbye hey Mad guys Mad everybody Midwest happy Carolina. and early Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.